Here comes the field for race three, Super Effective, wagering number one, Polaris Parkway. Owned by Florence Linehan, Del S. Miller Drives. Two, Park and Mark, owned by Jerome Grogan with Mike Wilder. Three, Daring Line. Owned by Howard Taylor, Mary and Bruce Walls. The driver is Eric Ledford. Four, Swango. Continues the race on Lasix for Charles Stovall and Don Feaster. Five, Run the Gauntlet, the half-million-dollar man owned by Sylvia and Ronald Burke and Brad Hanners in the bike. Six, I'm Steven. Owned by Charles Brennigan with Chip Noble. Seven, Marching Tune. Owned by George Young Jr. and Robert Young with David Myers. Eight, Fortune on Hold. Owned by Herb Miller, Richard Garner and Don Tracy, Jim Daly Nine, Sam Arema. Owned by Marianne Georges, Otis Day and the Knights with David Hawk, 10, Pan It Up. Owned by Scott Glenn and Mark Ader, Dan Ader, and he will be in the sulky. Field for the third trophy sponsored by Thermal Seal, five minutes. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing. Parkham Mark between horses takes the lead. I'm Steven with a rush. Here's Samaram up on the far outside and daring line. Creeping up on the extreme outside. Fortune on hold. E5 kick out for command. Marching tune. After that, Polaris Parkway pan it up. Swango and at the end of the trailer as they move to the quarter mile pole. Run the gauntlet. A little bit rough and jumping off stride. Further back in the field. That is the 10. Pan it up. Opening up here in a solid 27 and 1. Racing past the stands to the half mile pole. I'm Steven on the outside of Samarama, Samarana, and I'm Steven heads apart for command. Ranging up on the outside, Fortune on hold. Parkham Mark, the ground saving golden journey to fourth. As they make their way through the paddock, turn head of the half mile pole. Daring Lie is next, driving up on the outside. Marching tune, followed by the rail horse Polaris Parkway. Swango gap of two, run the gauntlet, still off stride, pan it up 56 and 1. Up the back stretch. Bouncing right along at Samarema. Cock locked and ready to rock from the pocket. Parkham Mark jumping off straight on the outside. That was Fortune on hold, and everybody cleared him, luckily, as they drive into three quarters. Bouncing right along at Samarema. Parkham Mark sweeping up on the outside. Daring Lion, I'm Steven. Running his way through heavy traffic. Swango in 125 and 3. Field straightens away. Samarama. Daring Lie is up on the outside. Parkham Mark is still waiting for the passing lane, but Daring Lie gets the jump on him. It's Daring Lie. Far outside, run the gauntlet. Parkham Mark, too little, too late. Daring Lie is trying to hold. Run the gauntlet up on the outside. Second, very tight between Swango and Parkham Mark to complete the superfecta. Comes the unofficial winner, number three, Daring Lie. Three-year-old Bay Colt by Dairy Two out of Somebody Lied, owned by Howard Taylor of Penn Valley, Pennsylvania. Mary and Bruce Walls of Greenville, trained by Bruce Walls. Driven tonight by Eric Ledford to cover the mile in 156, number three, Daring Lie. The unofficial of tonight's third race, the unofficial winner. I'd like to welcome the large group in the winner's circle tonight from Thermal Seal. Big group in the winner's circle tonight from Thermal Seal.